Oh my god, you can't outrun a maniac. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to a little bit of Call of Duty Ghost Onslaught Mode. I'm playing this live. I'm talking to you guys as I play so the game has not begun. I figured I'd uh, test myself, test your strength, to see uh, just how well I can multitask. I got a little information for you guys on E3 this year. I want to talk about it, give you my thoughts on it. At the same time, I want to get owned in Call of Duty. Uh, the E3 news is actually on two fronts. Uh, one is, one facet of information comes from a gentleman by the name of T-Ducks, who is a Swedish video game insider. This guy uh, is, is the same gentleman who revealed information on, what the hell, <laughs> on update 1.7. I can't get through here. Oh, I can just hold it. I didn't know that. Dag nabbit. Uh, I've never done that before. Um, but yeah, this guy T-Ducks, I know I'm going to throw a grenade. He uh, came came up with the information about what you can uh, do. Got you. I got your back, homie. Oh, that's not fair. I shot him 17 times. But yeah, he uh, has, has basically um, not so much revealed but confirmed some of the rumors about Sony's E3 press conference. And what he has confirmed is this, that uh, Uncharted 4 will be shown at E3 three minutes of game footage hey spider-man um, three minutes of game footage will be shown as well as oh almost almost got me there Padre be careful watch yourself bitches shit oh I gotta get down here yeah I, I just took care of that guys but yeah he's confirmed that we got three minutes of actual footage from the game <laughs> of uh, Uncharted 4 going to be revealed at E3 this year and he has also confirmed that um, we're going to sh they're going to show Drive Club the actual game and they're going to show some uh, the Order 1886 actual gameplay now um, the Order has already been shown uh, to a degree, it hasn't been shown like you know, extremely you know, a lot, a lot of gameplay. But the gameplay that has been shown didn't really wow gamers in the sense. Uh, the gameplay that was shown, oh, come here. The gameplay that was shown was basically mediocre, and uh, the people at IGN didn't like it. And so we got some gameplay. Hopefully, that will turn the tide of that game and make people think it's exciting. Hey, I see you. Oh, I got you. And um, so that's another good thing. Also, the Jap Japanese Sony Japan is going to be uh, revealing three new IPs. Uh, new games that they've been working on for the PS4, which is, uh, hey man, you're sliding around. My dog got gotcha. you. So three new IPs coming from Sony Japan as well. And I think that's a great, great thing because... Uh, the Western video game devs, they always think that, you know, in order to make a good game, you got to um, shoot, shoot, murder, murder, kill, kill. And Japan, they see things a little bit differently. And uh, I, I do respect and appreciate the types of games that come out of Japan. They're, they're so original and unique, and uh, and you're going to get bit. Because I know you can't see my dog. Bitch! Um, and so I'm looking forward to that as well. He, he did, T-Ducks did reveal some other stuff and confirm it as well. But... They, they weren't. They were small in comparison to um, the news I just dropped. Yeah, I think Uncharted 4 is probably the biggest news that's going to be at E3 for Sony right now. Uh, you know, hopefully a God of War game might be announced. But seeing Uncharted 4 actually in engine is going to be super exciting. I know a lot of you guys will be excited to see that Uncharted is a fantastic game. The series, franchise, whatever you want to call it, is great. And uh, also, I want to talk about the E3. Time reveal. Sorry, guy. I had to drop shot you. Is your buddy out here? Yep. Um, the E3 time slot reveals have been announced. Uh, Microsoft has announced they're going to go June 9th at 9 o'clock a.m. That's when they're going to reveal their stuff. They're going to have their press conference and they're going to show off some Halo. They're going to show off, you know, um, they might bring some rare games. I imagine Banjo or Conker's Bad Fur Day or something on Xbox One. Wouldn't that be exciting? But uh, I think Microsoft has got a lot of great games up their sleeve that they're not talking about yet. But um, 
the fact that they're going so early, they're going at 9 o'clock a.m., and then EA's going at 12, and then Sony's going at 6. So Sony's going at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock is nine hours after Microsoft, okay, which is fucking huge. Uh, because Microsoft got owned by Sony last E3 for letting Sony go first, and they don't appear to be afraid. I would be very afraid after what happened last time at E3. Um, and so the, the fact that they're not... Good knife, home skillet. The fact that they're not means they got some shit up their sleeve that's going to, you know, rock the minds of the masses. So I'm excited to see that. Sony's going at 9. Uh, and so I'm sure so Sony's been riding a wave of success. Oh, I saw your buddy over here. Uh, he, they've been riding a wave of success. And so more than likely they're going to uh, continue that wave. And... Uh, continue to dominate. Hey, you're backing up the wrong way. The bullets come from this direction. Um, and, and I think that's pretty exciting. So, not only do we have Sony's press conference time, you know, they're going last, which could be a big, you know, big deal. Especially if they do what they did last year. Uh, we, we have information on uh, Uncharted, actual in-game footage, which is going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully they show The Last of Us. I don't know how long it takes to, you know, up a version of that game. Uh, the Last of Us doesn't seem like it'd be a really hard game to uh, graphically enhance, but who knows? I haven't done it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know other than the DLC what they're going to add to the game. I know it's going to be beautiful and atmospheric, but I'm just super excited. I want to see some great stuff. I want to see what they're going to do with Project Morpheus, because now we know that the PlayStation 4 controller was created with Project Morpheus in mind. That's why it's the way it is. So, that there alone makes me super excited about the possibilities and what they might show at E3. Now virtual reality is upon us people. It is... Oh, hey, hey, dude, wait, 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 wait. Don't run in there yet. I want to kill you first. Oh, you and your buddy. Thanks, guy. And I got a dog. Um, so if they do show something... Oh, 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 oh. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he killed my... And he killed my little dog, dude. Yeah, um... This is a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. I tried to multitask. My brain is not the best brain on earth. So a lot of these things I had to kind of stumble over. I tried to still make the game kind of exciting and play to the best of my ability, kind of. Oh, and Myers got him. Go, 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 go knife that. Go hack his ass. Hack it slash. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. 26 and 6? That's not too bad. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below.